All right, guys, so this course is not required, but we highly suggest you go through it because it can be very beneficial for your business to test stuff, um, to have, uh, you know, offices have a corporate account so they can be billed on a, on a weekly, bi-weekly, monthly uh, basis, and a couple of other things. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. Uh, we're going to go to the corporate uh, field right here and you can see that we can either select a corporate account or we can add a corporate account so we're gonna add one that's going to be called this and I'm going to hit add now this doesn't actually change anything in your system so you don't have to worry about that now we have a couple of things right you're gonna see when this account is created and uh, n none of these fields are required but 99% of the time, you will need information in here in some way, okay? So basically, you can make this uh, corporate account active. Then you have a t uh, exempt, uh, exempt tax status if a uh, facility, like if it's a church or if it's a nonprofit, you can uh, put these charges without tax attached to that account. Then we have tax ID number. Uh, for for the business that you're using the corporate account for and in these terms that I'm showing you right now I'm creating one for testing purposes. Okay. Now. Why is this good? This will let you quickly send test orders to your new partners if you need to test if their tablet is working properly if uh, you know you have drivers that need to do test orders uh, if you have uh, food that you want to order for your business you can keep track of it through here so then we're going to put the address of the business. So let's just say ours is North Florida Ave, Tampa. We're going to put the state, whatever the zip is. And now you have primary contact, position, email, and phone. And this is going to be the person usually that places the orders uh, for this business, right? For testing purposes, as I said, we don't have to do this. Uh, but it's very useful to have. Then you have accounts payable contact. This is a person that you would call about billing. So if a office, uh, let's say a dental office orders from your business and uh, you can maybe have special rates for them or you can just let them order one uh, a couple times a month and then you bill them monthly, uh, which works better for them. You can secure an account that orders multiple times a month um, and just bill them every month. Uh, and this is going to be the contact that you're going to ask about payments. Now you have the bank and bank contact if in case you need to send the, the bill to them. And then you have notification emails. Now you, they can get an email uh, once a new order is paid through this corporate account. And then a notification when an order has been delivered. Now this is useful uh, for many reasons. Uh, it can let the operator or the person who's uh, placing the orders get a notification once the orders are getting delivered to them or it can be on their corporate account, um, like their actual corporate email. Uh, and then also this is useful uh, in terms of fraud protection, right? If somebody gets the credentials for some reason, they get hacked or anything like that, uh, you can they can use this uh, to verify that <clears throat> nothing's going to happen to their corporate account. Then you also have notes. You can say, you know, bill monthly, or whatever it is and always keep in mind that corporate accounts it is your responsibility as the operator to collect payments for corporate accounts because corporate accounts will get tracked inside of our software but it is on you to collect the payments from them okay then we also have credit cards pretty straightforward you add a credit card and if they say hey here's our credit card bill it monthly then you're good to go right and you can do that and then the last step is the very important one, which is to add a user. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this user right here. And what this is going to do, it's uh, the corporate account on its own is not going to do anything until we have a user customer account linked to it. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So now that we've done this, right, we're going to save this information. Okay. And we are we have the user added. So now uh, you can create test orders, right? And they can either be called in by the customer uh, or 
uh, the customer can place it themselves because they now have a corporate account access, right? So how are we going to do this? Uh, you have this button right here on the sidebar that says place order, and this will let you place order right away. Or you can also do it from the dispatch screen. So if we're on the dispatch screen, we're just going to hit this little plus right here next to the globe and the little figurine. Click plus. And now we're going to search for the customer. So in this case, it's going to be our Big Tree Solution account. We're going to select an address. We're going to select the time. And we can say if this is a call in a web order. And we are going to select a restaurant. Uh, now, it is always very, very important that you confirm that this uh, delivery order is uh, being made for ASAP, like as soon as possible, or if it's a future order because the availability of the menu items can change, right? So now we go to future and we say we want to get it at 630, whatever. No business is open that late, um, but let's just do it for the sake of the, uh, the example. We're going to select a restaurant. We're going to do some add-ons here, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Okay. All right, and now we have our now we have our order, and then once we go to the payments, uh, we are going to uh, select. So you have this little breakdown right here. We're gonna go to payments, and then from here we can select corporate, and because this uh, because this user account is connected to uh, a corporate account, it's going to t tell you that it's associated to this Nikola Tess DL um, corporate account. And then we can add payment, right? And from here, you can finish up the order and process it. Uh, so these are very good ways to test ordering for your new clients. And then also it gives your uh, bigger, you know, group ordering customers uh, a platform to where they can be billed monthly. It makes it easy for them. It makes it somewhat easy for you because um, now you have a client that's going to uh, be bringing you multiple, most likely big orders um, every month. So none of the information under the corporate account is required. Remember that they just has to has a, it just has has to have a name. It has to be active and it has to uh, have a user account attached to it. But it, we highly recommend that you input all of this information in just so you don't run into any problems, okay? And also, don't for, forget to bill them and collect those payments. Uh, that's going to be it for now, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.